ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Today, I am presenting about the drug Etomidate. As we all know, Etomidate is widely used during rapid sequence intubations. Coming to the drug classification, it is a non-barbiturate sedative hypnotic. It is a imidazole derivative. It usually comes in a milky white solution that is in a vial which contains 10 ml containing 10, 20 mg's. Coming to mechanism of action, the mechanism of action is it may direct act on reticular activating system at GABA receptors and GABA receptors as we all know it is a depressant so it may cause profound sedation. This is a mechanism of action. The uses and indications as we all know it is widely used in rapid sequence intubation and procedural sedations. While using uh, sedation using uh, cardioversion uh, for other uh, that fracture dislocations for that we use as a procedural sedation. Then route, the route we usually give is IV and the dosing is there is adult dose and pediatric dosing. Adult dose is 0.2 to 0.6 mg per kg and pediatrics. Pediatrics we usually give in uh, which is age more than 10 years. The adult, uh, main dose in pediatrics is 0.2 to 0.4 mg per kg. Precautions. Precautions is uh, mainly the uh, while uh, the uh, etomidate is very painful procedure. So, while using etomidate either we should use through a large vein or through a slow IV boluses and or else we should pre-treat the patient with an IV analgesics like fentanyl or lignocaine. This is the main precaution we have to take. Contraindication. Contraindication is mainly uh, first is sepsis with unstable hemodynamics. Um, and then uh, sepsis with unstable hemodynamics means with hypotension, in severe hypotension we usually avoid atomidate. This is because uh, atomidate does not contain the sympathomimetic action. So, uh, if in sepsis already it will be a uh, unstable hemodynamics. So, we will, if we give etomidate it will not uh, cause anything to increase the BP and uh, sepsis it is mainly uh, telling that it may uh, the main complication of the etomidate is adrenal suppression. So, uh, already in sepsis there will be a small amount of adrenal suppression. So, even with one dose of etomidate it may cause adrenal suppression. So, it is usually avoided in sepsis with hypotension, severe hypotension. Uh, if there is already, if the patient is already a non case of uh, adrenal suppression and uh, if there is hypersensitivity to etomidate and age less than 10 years and the complications are mainly as we told first is adrenal suppression even with one dose it can cause adrenal suppression and then uh, the other main complication is myoclonus. So, this is regarding the etomidate. Thank you.